bright duty every student matters solve the following pair of linear equations by using the method of elimination and substitution method students for this question i want you to solve this question using the substitution method yourself i'll solve this question using the elimination method only if you are not comfortable with substitution method you can go to the previous lectures of mine and see the questions on substitution method because i have solved ample number of questions using the method of substitution for this exercise i'll focus on elimination method only so x plus y is equal to 5 2x minus 3y equals 4 multiplying equation number 1 by 2 on both sides why because in this coefficient of x will get equated so this will give me 2x plus 2y equals 10 here and subtracting this will become negative this will become negative this will become negative because this is subtraction okay so 2x will get cancelled here minus 5y will be equal to 4 minus 10 that is minus 6 okay so y is equal to 6 by 5 now i have got y equal to 6 by 5 i'll place this value in this equation so x plus 6 by 5 is equal to 5 hence x is equal to 5 minus 6 by 5 that is 25 minus 6 by 5 which is equal to 19 by 5 so my answer is 19 by 5 for x and y is equal to 6 by 5 okay here i've got two equations 3x plus 4y equal to 10 and 2x minus 2y equals 2 so i find equating the coefficient of y easier in this question why because i'll just multiply this equation by 2 on both sides so 3x plus 4y equal to 10 is my first equation and this second equation will be 4x minus 4y equals 4 let us say this is my second equation i'll just add 1 and 2 adding equation 1 and 2 this 4y will get cancelled 3x plus 4x is 7x. 10 plus 4 is 14. Hence, x is equal to 2. Okay. Now, putting x equal to 2 in equation 1. Putting x equal to 2 in equation 1. Let's go there. 3. What is x? X is equal to 2. 3 into 2 plus 4 into y is equal to 10 right this is 6 so 4y is equal to 10 minus 6 equals 4 hence y is equal to 1 okay so x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 is my answer this is how easy method of elimination is let us write these equations in standard form 3x let us write the variables on one side and constant on other side 3x minus 5y equal to 4 9x minus 2y equals 7 okay in this set of equations i find equating the coefficients of x easier by multiplying this equation on both sides by 3 okay so this will become 9x minus 15y equals 12. Let us say this is our equation number one, and this is our equation number two. Okay. So subtracting one minus two. Okay. This is just symbolic representation. So change the signs here. Minus plus minus. Now this will get cancelled. Minus 2y plus 15y, that is 13y. Okay, 7 minus 12 is minus 5. So y is equal to minus 5 by 
13. Okay, so I've got value of y here. Now I'll replace it in equation number one. So 9x minus, this is equation number one, minus twice of minus 5 by 13, it is equal to 7. So 9x minus minus is plus 10 by 13, it is equal to 7. So 9x is equal to 7 minus 10 by 13. 13 into 7 is 91 minus 10 by 13. Okay, so 9x is equal to 81 by 13. 9 nines are 81. Hence, I can say x is equal to 9 by 13. And y was equal to minus 5, minus 5 by 13. Hence, this is your answer. Okay. Look at these equations. x by 2 plus 2y by 3 equal to minus 1. Let us say this is equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So, which coefficients should we equate? We can simply multiply this equation by 2 to equate the coefficients of y, right? So, if I multiply, multiplying, multiplying, multiplying equation number 2 by 2 on both sides equation 2 will give me 2x minus 2 by 3y equal to 6 right and what was equation number 1 let me write it below it x by 2 plus 2 by 3y equals minus 1. Now you see coefficient of y got equated. You just add these adding. If you want to add these you do not have to change the signs right. So this will get cancelled here. So 2x plus x by 2 is 5 by 2x and it is equal to 6 minus 1 that is 5. So 5 got cancelled x is equal to 2. How did it how did I calculate this 5 by 2x? Because 2 plus half of x, right? 2 plus half is 5 by 2. So x is equal to 2. Now you can replace value of x in any of the equations. So putting x equal to 2 in equation 2. 2 minus y by 3 is equal to 3. So minus y by 3 is equal to 1. Hence y is equal to negative 3. So, y is equal to minus 3. Okay. Form the pair of linear equations in the following problem and find their solutions if they exist by the elimination method. So, in this question it is perfectly mentioned that you have to solve by elimination method only. In the previous question you had to solve the questions by substitution method as well as elimination method. Substitution method I left for your practice because I have already solved a lot of questions on substitution. Now we will solve this question by elimination method only. If we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator, a fraction reduces to 1 and it becomes 1 by 2 if you if we only add 1 to the denominator. What is the fraction? Let us take, let us take the fraction as x upon y. Okay. Now the first condition, if we add 1 to the numerator, so x plus 1, subtract 1 from the denominator, so y minus 1 and the fraction will reduce to 1. Solving this, x plus 1 is y minus 1, so x minus y is equal to minus 2 and this is our equation number 1. Second condition, if we only add 1 to the denominator, so x by y plus 1, it will become 1 by 2. So, it is equal to 1 by 2. Hence, 2x is equal to y plus 1. 2x minus y is equal to 1. This is our equation number 2. Now, you see that coefficients of y 
are already equal right so you don't have to do any extra effort to equate the coefficient of x here okay so you don't try to equate coefficient of x here because we already got the coefficients of y equal right so right away you can subtract one minus two okay so when i subtract two from one it will give me minus x here x minus two x is minus x minus y plus y will become zero that is y got eliminated from it minus two minus one is minus three so x is equal to three this is one of the answers and we need to find the fraction okay so we need to find y and then we will answer so x is equal to 3 so what is y let us put x equal to 3 in equation 1 putting x equal to 3 in equation 1 will have it was x minus y equal to minus 2 so 3 minus y is equal to minus 2 Hence, minus y is equal to minus 5, which makes y equal to 5. So, I have got x, I have got y. What is the fraction? So, fraction is x by y, that is 3 by 5. Now, this is my final answer. Okay. Five years ago, Nuri was thrice as old as Sonu. 10 years later, Nuri will be twice as old as Sonu. How old are Nuri and Sonu? So, in such questions, you always assume their present ages. So, let the present age of Nuri be x years and the present age of Sonu be y years. Okay. 5 years ago, so let us make the first case here, 5 years ago, ok, 5 years ago, Nuri was x minus 5 years old and Sonu was y minus 5 years old, so Nuri's age was x minus 5 years and Sonu's age was y minus 5 years, ok. And it is given that 5 years ago, Nuri was thrice as old as Sonu. So, x minus 5 is thrice of y minus 5. And this will give us our first equation here. x minus 5 equal to 3y minus 15. Hence, x minus 3y is equal to minus 15 plus 5. That is minus 10. And this is our equation number 1. Okay. Second condition is 10 years later. So, 10 years later, Nuri's age will be x plus 10 years and Sonu's age will be y plus 10 years. Okay. And what is the condition? That Nuri will be twice as old as Sonu. So, x plus 10 will be twice of y plus 10. And this will give us our second equation. x plus 10 is equal to 2y plus 20. So, x minus 2y is equal to 10. And this is my second equation here. So, let me write this first one here itself. x minus 3y equal to minus 10. Okay. Now, subtracting these, because I have got coefficient of x equal so, I do not have to make any extra effort to make the coefficients equal. I will simply subtract. So, minus plus and this sign will change into plus. Okay. So, x got eliminated. Minus 2y plus 3y will give me y. 10 plus 10 is 20. So, y is equal to 20. Now, putting y in any of the equations. So, let us put it in equation number 2. Putting y equal to 20 in equation 2. What was equation 2? This is my equation number 2. So, x minus 2 into y that is 20 and it is equal to 10. So, x is equal to 40 plus 10 that is 50. So, x is equal to 50. Okay. 
So Nuri's age is 50 years and Sonu's age is 20 years. Right? Okay. The sum of digits of a two digit number is 9 and 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. Find the number. So in such cases we will always assume the numbers as x, y. Let us say this is our tens digit, this is our units digit. If you expand this number this will look like 10x plus y. Okay. If you reverse this number it will become y x hence the expansion will become 10 y plus x. Right. The sum of the digits of two digit number is 9. So x plus y is given as 9. This gives me my first question because these are the digits and sum of digits is 9. So I have got my first equation as x plus y equal to 9. Also 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the orders of, order of digits. So 9 times this number 9 into 10x plus y is equal to twice the number twice the number obtained by reversing the order of digits. So this is the number that I obtained by reversing the order of digits. right? So this will give me my second equation. So let us solve it 90x plus 9y is equal to 20y plus 2x. So this will give me 90x minus 2x that is 88x and 9y minus 20y minus 11 y equals 0. Right? So, 11 is common in these coefficients. So, 8x minus y is equal to 0 is my second equation. Okay. By dividing this equation by 11, what I have done is I have equated the coefficients of y. Right? Now, adding 1 and 2, adding equation 1 and equation 2 x plus 8x will become 9x, y minus y is 0, y got eliminated. So, 9 plus 0 is 9. So, x is equal to 1. Okay. I have got value of x from here. So, naturally y will be equal to 8 because x plus y is equal to 9. So, y is equal to 8. Now, I have got value of x and value of y, 1 and 8. So, the number is 18, right? x is 1, y is 8. So, the number is 1, 8. Okay. Meena went to a bank to withdraw rupees 2000. She asked the cashier to give her 50 and 100 rupees notes only. Meena got 25 notes in all. Find how many notes of 50 and rupees 100 she received. Let us say rupees 50 notes are x in number, rupees 100 notes are y in number. Okay. So, one note of 50 rupees. 1 note of 50 rupees is equivalent to 50. So, x notes will be equal to 50 x rupees. Okay. And she had to withdraw 2000 only. So, 50 x plus 100 y is equal to 2000. Okay. Because 1 note means rupees 50. If you are talking about these notes, 1 note is rupees 50, x notes 50 x rupees. Okay. Similarly, one note of 100 is 100 rupees, y notes 100 y rupees and in total she withdrew 2000 rupees. So, this is my first equation and Meena got 25 notes in all. So, x plus y is equal to 25 and we need to find how many notes of 50, how many notes of 100. So, x and y will be our final solution. Now, to equate the coefficients, rather than multiplying, what I can do is, I can divide equation number 1 by 50. 
and that will equate the coefficient of x for me okay dividing equation 1 by 50 on both sides so equation 1 will become x plus 2y equals if you divide this by 50 this will become 40 right okay so x plus 2y is equal to 40 and x plus y was equal to 25 now if i subtract these y this x will get cancelled y will be equal to 15 hence x plus y was 25 so x is equal to 10 so she has got 10 50 rupee notes and 15 100 rupee notes now if you calculate this 10 50 rupee notes means 500 rupees and 15 100 rupee notes mean 1500 rupees in total it is 2000 rupees which verifies the original statement also okay a lending library has a fixed charge for first three days and an additional charge for each day thereafter sarita paid rupees 27 for a book kept for seven days and susi paid rupees 21 for the book she kept for five days only find the fixed charge and the charge for each extra day let us say the fixed charge for first three days is x rupees and additional charge for each extra day be y rupees okay this is in rupees okay for first three days you have to pay only x rupees that is fixed charge and if you proceed after that for each additional day you will keep on paying y rupees now look at the first situation here sarita paid rupees 27 for a book kept for seven days so seven days can be broken into three plus four days why I am doing that? Because for first three days, she will have to pay X rupees only. And for these four days, for each day she will pay Y rupees. So, she will end up paying four Y rupees for these th four days. right? And in total, she paid rupees 27. So, this gives me my first equation. And the second one, Susie paid rupees 21 for five days. So, for five days, you can consider it three plus two days. For first three days she paid x that was fixed charge and for additional two days she will have to pay 2 y rupees and in total she paid 21 rupees. So this is my second equation. Now already I have got coefficient of x equal so I will just subtract 1 minus 2 equation 1 minus equation 2. So x will get eliminated 4 y minus 2 y will give me 2 y. 27 minus 21 will give me 6 hence y is equal to 3 so additional charge for each day is rupees 3 and what is the fixed charge let me put this value of y in equation number 2 let us say putting y equal to 3 in equation 2 x plus twice of y is equal to 21 so x is equal to this is 6 21 minus 6 is 15 so fixed charge rupees 15 this is for first three days and charge per day after three days is equal to rupees 3 okay so this was about this exercise here right i hope you have got the good understanding of method of substitution as well as method of elimination by now okay in the next exercise we will 
do some extra questions on the basis of elimination method and these questions are important from your board examination perspective. Thank you.